On Saturday, October 14th, 2023, much of the Western United States will experience a unique sight, an annular solar eclipse. Annular comes from the Latin word for ring, because during an annular eclipse, the moon doesn't block out the entire sun. You can still see a ring of sunlight around the moon. How does an eclipse like this occur? Well, the moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle. It's actually oval-shaped, or elliptical. This means that sometimes the moon is a little closer to Earth, and other times it's a little further away. The same thing is true about Earth's orbit around the sun. Sometimes the sun and moon can both appear a tiny bit bigger or a tiny bit smaller when seen from Earth. An annular eclipse occurs when the visual size of the moon is smaller than the visual size of the sun. When the moon moves in front of the sun, it doesn't quite cover the whole thing, leaving that ring I mentioned earlier. If you live anywhere between Eugene, Oregon, or San Antonio, Texas, then you're in the path of annularity. You'll see the full eclipse with only a slim circle of sun around the outside edge of the moon. If you live near Indianapolis, as I suspect most of you do, you'll see the moon pass partially in front of the sun on October 14th. Nothing super dramatic. But don't fret, because on April 8th, 2024, Indianapolis is in the path of totality for a total solar eclipse. The moon will be close enough to Earth to completely shadow the sun for about four minutes around three in the afternoon. It's going to be an incredible sight. You can come to the Children's Museum that day for a whole day of eclipse programs and activities leading up to the moment of totality in the afternoon. Join us. We hope to see you then.